Because, you know, you were mentioning money. Some, somebody says, well, how much is that going to cost? Well, it's going to cost about $5,000. And what I really think that we're really good at is getting customers the value for that money they're going to do. And, right. uh, you know, many times, you know, we feel like we are exceeding uh, in value what it costs because, because we're, we're making the product better than, than what we would otherwise by well, getting better value. Well, I think there's, there's several things. I mean, if you look at a lot of the builders that I know, they see their job as bricks and sticks construction. You know, they're not, they're not supposed to do the plans. That's not their job. They're not supposed to design or design support. That's not their job. Um, their job is to build the home. Um, they may not even do financial support. Mm -hmm. That's your money. I mean, I'm just telling, I'm just doing what you tell me to do. Mm -hmm. And and so they they take so much about what really why a client would really go to a builder. They take so much of that and say that's my, not my job. Mm -hmm. And they're probably in many cases charging the same we're charging, uh, maybe even more. And yet the client's not getting that much for it. For us, you know, we're helping with designs. We're helping with. Um, the architectural plans, we're helping with budgeting, and, and budgeting we're spending a tremendous amount of time on. We're going with them to the, to the various vendors. We're helping with the selection process, selection support, cost-benefit analysis. We're doing all of these things that they probably think they're supposed to get from everybody, and they're not, and we're charging pretty much about the same thing as our competition is charging. So that's really what you're talking about, mm -hmm. value, is are we the least expensive builder in town? I'm sure that we're probably not. Um, but are we the one who's giving the most value for the money you're paying? I'm very confident we probably are in the top one, two, three percent of that group mm -hmm. because it's one thing to be the cheapest. But if you're the cheapest and the homeowner ends up spending 20 percent more money because they've got zero support and they keep making horrible decisions and you just stand back and say, man, it's your decision. I didn't not, make it. That's not value. That's not value. Yeah, they may, they may not pay you as much or me as much. But they're paying a lot more money for a lesser home. And so at the end of the day, they're still paying more money. And what we're trying to do is earn our money every day. And I think that's dramatically different. And I also think that it, it goes back, and you were mentioning education a second ago, it goes back to the budget. And they're all intertwined. I mean, when we do a budget, we're taking time every single line item to explain pros and cons. That's education. Why do we why? spend this money? Why mm -hmm. are we doing this? Why, why is it better to use a lifetime paint product that might cost you $300 more on your entire house than to use one that's a cheapo depot version behind the counter that you don't even sell to customers? That you got to paint it, in three because or four it years. Goes, yeah, it's like water. Mm -hmm. And, well, that makes all the sense. If I give you as a customer and say, look, the first time you repaint your house, it's going to cost you $5,000. How about we spend $500 now and I give you a, a paint job the last 25 years? That is not a hard decision for most mm -hmm. customers. But many builders will not even pose the question because they don't want the hassle of, of having to order the special right. paint and having to coordinate that it's gone on and making sure that the guy used the right stuff and he didn't shortcut it and buy something cheaper and all of the things that get knocked over by that domino of decisions. And I think that is a big separation. So when people say, what's your standard? And my standard is I'm going to explain to you all of the things that can happen the benefits of it, and where I believe, personally, it's in your best interest to do, but I'm still going to do what you tell me. And at the end of the day, I can't get there without talking to you, mm -hmm. without educating you, without being honest, without being transparent, without mm -hmm. explaining it all. I mean, if I don't do that, you can't make a good decision. Right. You can't make a good decision. And, 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 and if another builder isn't doing that for you, then I mean, you know, and if you choose to go that direction, there's the buyer beware. Oh, I mm -hmm. guess buyer beware.